Hello guys, it's Christopher from US Zebra Gaming giving you a tutorial on how to make a good intro. And I'm gonna show you the intros that I use. And uh first let me show you what it looks like. I use all you need is really Windows Movie Maker, Windows Live Movie Maker 2011, this version here. And uh, you're going to need a YouTube video downloader that's like something that you can get something for YouTube, you have to download it. Or some like some kind of intro, like this is, I want to show you, See, this is what I have. Let's put it in full screen, sorry. Yeah, and it's actually really, really simple to do. And so, uh, yeah, let's get started. Blah, 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 blah. All right. So first, you want to get. See, this is what you're gonna have to download. One of two of these things. This is the one I used at first, and this is the one I'm using now. Let me show you what the one at first looks like. You notice how it's all fast. We're gonna slow that down. Let's let you know. Unless you want it quick, that's what you want. Okay. Okay, go to YouTube, and you want to put this in. I put paste down. Oh, oh yeah, I had to restart my computer, so. I'm going to put intro, background, sorry. And then the green screen. Green, green, blah, blah. And then here are the videos that I just had. Now choose one of these three from Project Random to use for your intro. And I'm going to show you all three. Here's the first one. That's nice. I like that. And I might use that later. Here's the one that I use now. Much faster. And here's the one I use. I still might use later on in the video. So let's, see, let's, go, let's get to the one. So I won't mess up. Let's use the one. Hour. I'll put a link in the description for the YouTube downloader. And I'll put a link to this guy's channel. And you just want to copy this. If you download it already or whatever. And this is what it looks like. You just you don't have to paste it down. You click download. And it'll just show up right here. And I'll show you what this does real fast. It downloads it. You can convert. Like, I could convert this to MP3. This is just going to show what happens, and then you can play it right now. Like, it's really useful because you actually convert the videos that you have now. That helps me out. Because sometimes I'll download a video from YouTube to put it on YouTube, to put online and stuff. And, like, for example, this came out in FLV. And, like, I can't do, I can't really work with that. And I converted it, and it's the same thing. It's just, and, um, iPod video form. One we all use with the MP4. So yeah, let's get going. So we're gonna open up. Oh sorry. Windows is Maker. Let's start. Get back to the full tutorial here, and let's use the old one. No, oh, I'll just use the new one. Oh, I don't care. Just use the old one. The old one, yeah. So unless you want it this fast as your intro. I don't, so I'm going to slow it down. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to show you how I do it. Slow it down. Because now it's a nice cool five seconds, and it doesn't look that weird. I mean, it doesn't look that much of a difference. It's just slower, so you can look what, you, look what you're taking in and stuff. So, And so now, roll here. I have clips for music that I use. To, like, I have a clip MP3 editor that edits music. And... So I'll, I'll just use one that's right, as like so that I can have a short clip for music, and uh, so I put in some flex pavilion for you guys. Put up and then so I can't stop. This is the song. And see now now it's just like the this is just the part. This is the drop. And it goes I can't stop 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 that part. And so get stop like that. And now you want to get your text in. Now, this part will be the toughest thing to do. And it's really easy. And that's why this whole process is really nice and easy because 
because it's, it's real simple. I mean, all you have to use is click on the right movie link. And it's just simple, gets to the point, it's nice. You don't have to buy all this you know, stuff for it. And uh, so, oh, last snapshot. All right, click on the caption, this middle thing here. And um, put where you want your text. I'm going to put it in the center. Put it a decent size, I guess. And I don't want it to, I want I don't want it to start from the exact beginning. I want it to come in a little later where like you can like like come up right about here sounds good. And like and the text right there. Alright. So then what you wanna do is obviously you wanna click here, put in your text, your preferably your YouTube channel. So it's U S C E B R A C A M I N D, and you know that not look really good. So what you're gonna do is um first get your your text. I downloaded it from this website, and if I can find it, I'll put it in the descri description. But I use Gunplay 3D. It's pretty nice, especially when you get it big. Uh, I use 72 because it just Fits it perfectly and it gets the size right all the time. See, and uh, so now you load your format and what you want to do is find how you want it to squish in. Fade in like that. You know, how can we do some power to make sure this stuff? Um, I do this. Let me find it. This right here. It gives the word that you're gonna the thematic first too. That's what it's called. The word you're gonna put in the phrase, it's gonna sparkle as it comes in. It fades in and also fades out, which is really nice. And um, I put my transparency, um, I make it nice and transparent. I make it really low, so it kind of fits in. You don't want to just like stick out. I mean, you want it like to blend into your intro, so you want it kind of low. I put, I guess, all the way low. You can still see it. And then choose your color. Uh, I guess I'll do a green here. Oh, no, not green. Bluish color. And I'm going to put a little more, a little thicker, like that. And there you go. See how it just nicely fades out, and and this is what it looks like. And just burst it in. It's all set up. So it's just simple. Nice looking intro there with your clip. Any ugh, what you choose of clip music and stuff, and then yeah. Well, I guess I can make the text a little more transparent, but kind of heavy. Now, it's about yeah, that's about better. And uh, yeah. and then what you want to do, this is what I do, you don't have to do this, but this is what I preferably like to do is. Personally, exit. What I do is what, every time I pull up this, this is my edit position because you know I'm in San Antonio, Vegas. But why? Why in San Antonio, Vegas? I mean, you gotta be. You can do really good editing with Movie Maker. That's the one people don't understand. You can just do really good editing with Movie Maker. You just gotta play around with it, and it's really easy to use and it's free. And um, I bet there's add-ons out there. So what I do after I did that, I saved it. And I call it setup right here, and I'll and it's already there. So all you need to do is just put the clips on here. I'll be set up, and it kind of stays there after the stuff goes away and it fades out. It's really nice. And um, you just put all whatever you want out there, and then click the YouTube, and it automatically does it for you. So there's a tutorial for a nice cheap intro. Like I said, um, I'll put the link in the description for the YouTube downloader. The text, if I can find it, and possibly one for the yeah, I think that's it. Oh yeah, text and the downloader. Oh yeah, and the and I also have this MP3 video editor. If I can find one to use for you guys, I'll put that in the link in the description for you guys too. And um, but I actually use Audacity. And I had to use a trial version of something, which really sucked. But at least I got to use it in the time that I got to use it. So, yeah.
So that's it. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching. And, um, yeah, hit the subscribe button if you will. Have a new video right here. New hit sniper. You might want to check that out. Nice. And, yeah. Bye. Thanks for watching.